We're going to talk about tomatoes real quick. All right, here we go. We got San Marzano tomatoes. Now this right here, this can right here, I got at the shop right. It was three dollars and twenty nine cents. This is what's called a dope tomato. D O P. It stands for um, uh, Dion Rizzoni D something or other, D something or other. Who knows? But it's dope. And you see this right here, right here. There's a serial number on there, so that guarantees that where it comes from. It comes from a San Marzano. It's the region of Sarnese, Sar Sarnese. Nasseria, Reno area, whatever, it's Italian. I'm, I can't read Italian, although I'm 100% Italian. But it's a Pomodoro, I know what that means, S, S, San Marzano tomatoes. Now these are a ShopRite brand. There's Cento, there's um, hundreds of brands, but they're all about the same price. They're really not that much difference in price, all regarding the same price. You can get a bigger can, but you get a 90-ounce can, it takes two of these cans to make about four pies. Now, which, what, what I found out was the Shendo ones had more liquid in them than these. These had more uh, meat, more tomatoes in them, so I had less liquid. And you save the liquid, and I'll tell you later on what we're going to do with that. I saved the liquid, and then I have, where is it? Where is it? It's over here. You put two cans of this, drained. You put them, you squ crush them with your hands. We're going to do all that. You crush them with your hands. You put them in there and you save the juice. And you got to use what's called all recipes. All recipes have a secret ingredient. And this is my secret ingredient. You use half a can of this to two cans of that. And uh, your cheese, we're going to use this is Galbani cheese. This is good cheese. It's already, it's already uh, shredded. I don't want to shred. I don't feel like doing it. This is great, good quality cheese. I got two packs like this. Two. These are two pounds. This was two pounds. I got two of these for ten dollars when they were on sale. They're they're thirteen dollars off sale, but I got three dollars off at uh, BJ's, and I used um, this is what's left out of for six pies. Yeah, six pies, and I have some more of it there. And of course, mushrooms. You could put um, only certain things on tomato pie. Sausage, fresh sausage, pepperoni, um, anchovies, let me see if I get them all, garlic, of course, any kind of peppers, hot peppers, green peppers, uh, I, I love cherry peppers and garlic, and you can put garlic and you can put onions, and uh, maybe another one I missed, but none of this bologna, like the promised land, California, they're putting veggies on there, they're putting shrimp on there, and they're putting, I went to one, one time out in the, out in the, San Joaquin Valley driving around out there. And we go in to get some pizza. I mean a couple of buddies. And a guy's in there and he's literally putting the sauce on with a paintbrush like like Tom Sawyer. Oh man. And then he put stuff on it. Put pineapple on it. That's not pizza. That's not pizza. I don't care what you say. I, I, it's not even pizza. So anyway, Trenton tonight pie. That's what we're making. All right. Now the thing's all foamed up in there. All right, it's all foamed up. So we're going to put the dough hook on here. And you, you know, these mixtures are great. My father bought this 25 years ago when hardly anybody ever had them. And now I'm going to use this to put it, put the thing in. Now one thing, one of the guys said, he said, we well, got to watch it when you start them up because you got what's called Christmas. And it shoots the, the flour everywhere. And he's right about that. So you bring this up. And I, I kind of like, I kind of do that. All right, now I got a little bit mixed up in there. Put a little bit more. A little bit more. Mix that up. They have a cover for this. I'm going to probably get it. Okay, you get Christmas. Snow. I'm going to put the rest of the flour in. Okay, that's it. Now I got to get my spatula here. I need that. But anyway, uh, here we go. Woo! -hoo! All right, gotta lower it down a little bit. Get some of this mixed. Bring it back up.
until it gets less powdery. All right, now it's, it's mixing the dough. Now I'm going to throw the salt in. One level teaspoon. And I'm going to put two olive oil. You can hear the mixer going easier now. That's one. Two. You gotta watch this thing, it'll jump right out at you, man. All right, what I do is I wash this out and I pull that water just in case, a little bit of water later on, just a touch. You gotta leave that down for a second. I gotta rearrange the inside here. Some of the dough, sometimes it separates. You gotta kind of mix it up a little bit. Drop, drop, drop. All right. Looking good. Looking good. All right, we're done with the scale. Let's put that away. I'm going to talk about the tomatoes in a little bit. We don't need no more water. All right. We don't need no more flour. We're going to need that, though, to, to knead our dough. Now, what we're going to do with this dough... Oh, let me wait a minute. A little more wine here. Ah, salute. All right. Now, I'll tell you why. I'm enjoying this like you won't believe. This is something I always, always wanted to do. Always wanted to do this. And uh, uh, I used to go to De Lorenzo and lose in the bird. I go back so far as when I was a kid, they used to wrap them up when you had to go, to go in a newspaper. Then they outlawed that. And I also remember going there when they had the Coke oven. Not coal, Coke. And then they, somewhere in the 60s, they went, they couldn't get the Coke anymore. Gary told me he could have had to buy a whole hopper car full, which is a lot. We're need, that machine is actually needing to go. And that hook, that, that spiral hook like that. The other one, that thing was bouncing all over me. I had to hold it down. Bang, bang, boom. Well, this thing here, this works pretty good. Works pretty good. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It does kneading up just nice. It's not sticky. It's just perfect. So, now we're going to put this in some bowls. I'm going to put some uh, something in here. I've been spraying it with the butter spray, there's a lot of things, just some way to lubricate it. Now you can also freeze this dough, I haven't tried that yet, but they tell me you can freeze it, so I'm going to give that a try too. And uh, almost ready, let's see. Yeah, okay, now, get it off the hook. Get the hook out of there. I'll take the bowl out. need a little bit more because it'll just be better if by hand you can feel it right away as soon as it starts going you know you get this out of the way with we'll double this I clean that up we'll get that out of the way yeah, we'll get that out of the way There's your dough. All right, now we're going to divide it. I've got to get all this dough off my hands. A little flour. I get the little. All right. Now we're going to use this here with a bunch of glue. We're going to get this, and now we're going to take a. I like this here. It's called a dough knife. We're going to split it in half. Never splits in half. Okay. Turn on the scale. And we're going to want 13. That's f almost 15. This is probably going to be less. Yeah, so you take a little piece off of there and throw it on there. 
Come on there. We want to take a piece off of here and throw it over here. All right. Fourteen. Fourteen. That's close enough. Rock, close enough for rock and roll, right, Paul? Okay. Need a little bit more. It's coming out pretty good. It's nice and smooth. All right. And you bring it around. Make a ball. Like that. Look at that ball. And then you pinch it up on the bottom a little bit. All right. Now put that down. Take this over here, and I'm using this here stuff I got from the dollar store. It works. Just something to oil it. Just something to oil it. And you put down this side down first, and then you turn it over. And I generally put just another touch of oil on top. I just use regular vegetable oil, nothing fancy. And we're going to do what's called a slow rise on this. We're going to put this. We're going to put this with a cover on the top. One of these days I'm going to get the metal things. Somebody suggested. We're going to do a slow rise on it. There's one. And we're going to need this a little bit. Alright. Uh, get this one. And nice and stretching. It's working good. It's working good. Put a little bit more flour. A little bit more kneading. Not quite ready yet. That's a place hell when you got arthritis, man. Okay. Now we're making a ball. And uh, see if you over there. All right, now you get this and you pinch the bottom. All right. It's a little bit hard for me to do, but. The dough ball. All right, we can hit this with a little bit of this pan, whatever it is. Put that down first. Wash it around. Flip it over. Just a touch. You don't want too much. Okay. Now, that's it. Dough's done. Now we're going to talk, wash my hands, now we're going to talk tomatoes.